here's how to sort by sender in Gmail. Now we're going to actually sort by sender, but if you just want to find all of the Gmail messages from a certain email address, you can right click on an email from that sender and then go to find emails from, and it's going to show you all the emails from that sender. That is not sorting in my opinion, but maybe that solves it for some of you. Sorting is where you sort by email address. So the Gmail app can't do that, but it's really easy still to do that with your Gmail account. Now there's an easy way and there's a hard way depending on what you want to do here, but you'll have to use a different email software and a free open source software that works on Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever you want is Thunderbird, which is like from Firefox basically. And so I'll leave a link in the description, but it's basically thunderbird.net and you can download this um, basically email app that will allow you to sort by sender. And so once you download and install that, which is really simple, you open that up on your computer and you're gonna be looking at this screen. So the easy way here is to just sign in with your Gmail to pull in your Gmail inbox. So that account that I had, I could just literally uh, type in my Gmail address here and then type in my password and then we can go to continue and it should help us log in to Gmail. Most of this stuff will be automatically set up for you. So it's gonna look and say, okay, this is probably what you want. And we're gonna say, yeah, that's probably what I want. So I'm gonna hit done down there. Now Gmail will require you to sign in and kind of confirm that you actually want to be signing in to Thunderbird. And so we'll sign in with Google here, the Flippy Fin app Gmail that I was logging into and enter the password one more time. And so I'm going to click next on that, probably allow Mozilla Thunderbird to do all of this stuff, which is read, write, email, etc. And so we'll click allow on that and it will take me back here and it will put the inbox here in Thunderbird. Now, some of you might not want to actually log into your Gmail and that's fine. There's another way where we can export all of our emails and import them into Thunderbird without logging in. But this will bring us into our, um, our look here on this new email software. And basically when you go to the inbox, you'll see all these different columns and the correspondence here is basically who this email is from and you can just click on it to sort. And so that's gonna sort by essentially email addresses uh, from the name of the person. You could also probably find a column that's just email addresses and it will sort in alphabetical order. Uh, either ascending or descending. And let's see here, these are the columns over here on the right. And so we had correspondence, but I believe if we click on from and add that column, this is probably the, uh, well, it's still just another way of sorting. So we can click uh, up and down from that to sort by sender as well. Now we're gonna select these columns one more time and kind of go down here and look just to see if there's any more uh, that makes sense. I'm gonna click on account and see what that one is. So that popped up underneath this pop-up here. There we go. Okay, so that actually comes into, that's my email address, so that's not the senders. But you have from here, and you also have the correspondence here that you can sort by uh, and kind of see maybe who sends you the most messages or basically just sort your entire inbox. Now that's pretty easy and you might even like to use this type of app on your desktop or even I think they have a mobile app as well to basically sort by sender uh, here in Thunderbird. The other way we can do it is actually by exporting all of our emails. So maybe you don't wanna log in. And so what we'll do here is we'll just delete this account really quick. I believe I can go to these settings down here, account settings and then account actions and remove the account. So I'm gonna remove this account. And so now I don't believe we have any accounts set up. And this Thunderbird kind of opens up tabs like this. So you can just close them. Uh, we have this local folders thing and then no other account uh, connected. So to do the exporting of all of our emails, I'm gonna go back over to Safari where we have our Gmail open and you can go to your icon up here 
and then go to manage Google account. So in your profile of that Gmail. And then from here on the left, you'll see data and privacy. And if we scroll down, uh, it's probably in the more options, but eventually we're going to see downloading our data. And so here at the bottom, just above more options is download or delete your data. So you can actually download your email data or any data from your Google account. And so I actually have a recent export, but down here, what you would want to do is select the data to include. So we're going to deselect all because you just want your mail in this case. And then uh, I want to find the word mail on this page instead of scrolling through all of this stuff. And so if you press command or control on your keyboard and then press F, that's going to bring up like a little finder window. You can also find the edit drop down and then you'll see find right here. And that's the same thing. So we click this find option and now we're going to be able to find a word. So we're going to look for mail and then we're going to go to the next time that shows up and there it is. So, you know, we're a little bit of the ways down this list and we see mail here. And so you can check mark mail and then it should say all mail data is included and it probably has multiple formats, but email messages will come in this inbox export. So we're going to click OK and then I believe scroll to the bottom and go to the next step. And the next step is to send a download link via email or add it to your drive. The easiest way is to just add it to your drive and then download it from there. Uh, you can also send a download link via email. So if I click add to drive, uh, I'm going to just do this export once and not set up, you know, six months or every two months for a year exports. And then you can choose your file type. Zip is probably the most common. And then if it's bigger than this file size, it will split it into multiple files. And then you can create the export. Now, when you do that, Gmail will send you an email. And I think I, it might be in my deleted folder right now. So we'll go look really quick. So this is the email that it's going to look like when they send it to you. And if you chose to download or probably have a download button, if you chose to view it in your drive, it'll have a view in drive button. So we click on that and it's going to take us to the zip file. And what we would want to do in the upper right hand corner is just download that zip file. And then once you download it, you probably right click and click unzip or whatever, and you're going to have that folder. And so, once you have that folder, we're going to go over to Thunderbird again. And what you'll do here is you'll want to import that inbox. And there's a specific importer add-on that you need to add in order to import an inbox uh, from your Gmail. To do that, we go to the three lines up here, the little hamburger menu. And then we're going to go to add-ons and themes. And inside of here, we're going to look for this tool. It's called Import Export Tools. Uh, I found it by just searching the add-ons for inbox. And once I typed that in, I found this Import Export Tools NG, which is basically inbox importer. And I click this green button to add it to Thunderbird. And so that adds that into Thunderbird and kind of installs it. And so you'll see the drop down up here once it's installed. What we'll do is uh, on the left hand side, if you skipped the account setup, then you'll probably see nothing over here and you might need to add a feed. And so we're going to go to file new feed and we're going to add a feed that basically gives us a folder over here that we can put or import our Gmail into. And so we choose an account name. I might choose a Gmail and just call it Flippy Fin because it's the Flippy Fin Gmail. And then hit continue. It'll say, okay, this is going to be created. I say, all right, perfect, done. So now we have this little feed right here. And what I do is I right click on it and go to this little tool down here at the bottom. And it says import inbox files. And I can find an individual inbox file. Now, if you had multiple because it split it because it was more than two gigabytes, then you might want to click all inbox files from a directory and just click the folder that has all of those files from your uh, Gmail download. In my case, I just have a single one. So I'm just going to click individual inbox file. 
From there, I actually just need to find that inbox file. It's gonna be a folder that says takeout. And so you'll find that folder here uh, and click into that folder. And then you'll click into mail and then you'll see inbox. If you had multiple inboxes, then you'll probably just click mail and then click open down here. But I just have one. So I'm double clicking in there, selecting the inbox file and clicking open. Now that's gonna bring in all of my emails right here where it says 444. So I'm gonna click this, it has all of my email. And instead of signing into Gmail now, you can see here that all of the emails were imported, but this you know program has no access to my actual email. And from there, I see from, I can sort uh, by from, and so basically the senders. So I can sort by sender really easily in the same way without having to log in to Gmail itself. So that is how you can sort by sender. Uh, really, it's kind of the best way, you know. Sometimes Gmail's default app doesn't have, I guess, the best uh, options or functionality, whereas using a different app like Thunderbird or something to manage your Gmail, or in my case, I use Outlook to manage my Gmails, it just works better, and it's a desktop app, and you can do things like this, like sort by sender. Anyway, that was a much longer video than I thought it was going to be, but that's how you can sort by sender in Gmail.